trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat, or I'll come after you with my chainsaw. Happy Halloween, guys. It's just me. Good morning guys, welcome back to Papa's place. Guys, today we got us a new little mini chainsaw. This one here is called the Natidy. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. It's N-A-T-I-D-D-Y. 21 volt cordless chainsaw, six inch. Now this one here is for you ladies out there. So guys, if you got a lady friend or your wife or your loved one or I even got one of these from my mom An outside lady that likes to get out and do stuff in her yard these will make a good birthday gift Christmas gift Mother's Day gift or just a gift all around you can see it's pretty little pink writing pink handles but you can get these in different colors we're gonna open her up here and see. Comes in this pretty little storage bag here. You got the six inch bar. Comes with safety glasses. Pretty little pair of knit gloves. And an extra chain. Two 21 volt batteries and one charger and it's got the little screwdriver you use to change the chain on here and I'll show y'all how to do that oh it's also got a little oil bottle you can put you some oil in there and when you get ready to use it just drop you a few drops of oil on your chain each time before you want to use it and that'll make it last a lot longer so like I said guys this will be the third one of these cordless chainsaws I've got and they are so handy and I know you say, well, why you got three? Well, like I said, I give my mom one, and I keep one in my truck because I do yard mowing and service. And, guys, these things are so handy when you mowing yards and you come by them low-hanging limbs. You ain't really wanting to do no major limb pruning, but you got a limb here or there that's hanging down in the way. You can just grab this and wag it off. And this thing says... This here, by the way, is the model GB-CS001, rated voltage, 21 volt DC, horsepower, 3000 W, no load speed, 4000 RPM, cutting diameter, 6 inch, battery capacity, 2.0 hours, times 2, you got two batteries, and a battery charger. So we're going to get y'all over here closer and I'm going to show you first thing before you go to changing the chain on it, you want to remove your battery. Before I do that, it's got a, you can't just push the trigger, it's got a safety switch right here you got to push in just like just about anything you get nowadays. But we're going to remove the battery, push this little button here, pull out on the battery, yeah I use my chest there to kind of give me a little push. I'm going to zoom y'all in, and we're going to show you how you change the chain on it. Now guys, I'm getting y'all up here real close, but it's simple to change the chain here on it. Like I said, it comes with two chains. These chains are just like any other chainsaw or pole saw. They can be sharpened, and they can be replaced. But you just undo this little thumb screw right there. Pull the side up. And it's got a little screw right here that you use this screwdriver with and that loosens and tightens your chain now i'm going to turn it counterclockwise to give me some slack so i can take the chain off and that's all it is to removing the chain just like so and when you put your chains on, you got to make sure your teeth is running the right direction. If your chain runs like this, 
So you gotta make sure your teeth is pointed forward. If you put your chain on backwards, it ain't gonna do no cutting. So I'm gonna just stick it back on there. Make sure that bar's lined up right there in that hole. Or grab that tightener. Make sure your chain's all down in your bar there good. Tighten my chain back up a little bit. You just give it a little, little tightness. You don't want to tighten the crap out of it. Stick your cover bag on. It has a little washer right there that fell off. Make sure you put that washer back on here. And give that pretty little paint. Nah, oh, barrel tighten. And guys, that's all it is to changing the chain on one. So guys, I had already opened this and fully charged these batteries. So we finna go out there and do a little testing. And show y'all just how handy these things are. Like I said, if you've ever been mowing and Got that old low hanging limb run by and it hits and knocks your hat off. Makes you mad. Yeah, one of these little handy deals here where you can... I keep mine right here on my lawnmower. I got a little spot I can set it. And I can just stop and whack that limb off real quick. And I ain't got to worry about it next time I mow it hitting me in the face. But these have all kind of uses. You ain't got to just use them in the yard cutting limbs. If you're a deer hunter going out in the woods, you got this certain tree you want to climb and it's got limbs poking out in the way. This here is very light. You can put it in your little backpack, take it out in the woods with you, and do you some limb trimming. So we've been going over there, like I said, and we ain't just going to cut some tree limbs. You know, every now and then you may be building something around the house or need a two before block or something other and you don't want to get the skill saw out extension cord and all that you just need a couple blocks cut I'm gonna show you this thing right here is good for that so let's go test her out all right guys so here's a couple limbs here I've been meaning to cut on off I'd trimmed them off last year but they're sticking out and sometimes when I'm out here with my tractor and my finish mower these here I hang my tractor now that limb right there, I can't even wrap my fingers around. I'd say that's a good four, four and a half inch limb. And this one here is a good three inch limb. And this is an oak tree. So we're going to get y'all over here first. I'm going to make a cut up high. And then we're going to do some more cutting here. Guys, that's good hard oak, and that's a big limb. Now up there is about a three inch diameter where I just cut it. We're gonna get y'all down here zoomed in, and I'm just gonna go to cutting some smaller pieces. Now guys, I just cut that. And that's right through where another limb had grown out that had been cut off. Like I said, that's a good four inch diameter, if not more. And that is hard oak. So you can see it saws right on through it. Do y'all another cut down here a little closer. you could ask for as good as that cuts so while i'm cutting i'm gonna go and cut this up in pieces that i can use in my heater
like I said, these are some handy little tools. Now, yeah, this ain't something that you're going to take out and you're going to be using every day. You ain't going to do no clearing project with them. But for around your home and stuff and cutting limbs, now, I don't know if y'all, some of you follow and watch all my videos. I got a video on that first one I got. I cut a many a limbs off these trees you see through here on that video. They just some good, handy and tools. And like I said, this one here is the note. I'm saying Natidy, N-A-T-I-D-D-Y. There'll be a link in the description below this video where you can go purchase this if you would so choose to. Like I said, they make great gifts. When you ain't got a gift idea for your mom or your wife or an outdoor lady friend, this is something you could get her. She'd be happy with it. Guys, this is one handy tool. cut two before it's just like get a cut limb next guys we're gonna cut a treated four before post y'all guys if you was cutting this with a circular saw you'd have to cut it twice in order to get through a four by four post with just your average circular saw and that thing has zipped right on through it well guys y'all have seen how much i cut that's with the one battery Everything on this video, I was cut, and it's still running strong. Now, I don't know how long you can run up on a battery, but even with the other ones I've owned, I've never run the battery down, because like I said, they ain't, I didn't purchase this to get out there and use all day long doing something. But I know I cut a good bit with that first one, and I never did run the battery down as much as I wanted to cut and you've seen as much as I just cut in, that's more than the average person's going to get out and trim a few limbs in their yard, and it's still going strong. So like I said, there'll be a link in the description below this video 
where you could go purchase this for if you so choose to. Seems like a very good product. You can get your little paint color for your lady friends or your mom, or you can get you a different color. Now, after using it, you see the little guide here. That's because it's got sawdust down in there. I just pulled it out, the guide went down, but every time after I use it, even my chainsaw or pole saws, I take the cover off and I blow all that sawdust out of there before I put mine back up and store them. If you do that, they'll last you a long time. Guys, if you enjoyed these little videos, if you haven't never subscribed, please reach down there and hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell, it don't cost you a thing. It does help me grow my YouTube channel. The best way you can help me out is by giving me a thumbs up down there and sharing my videos on your social media with your friends and loved ones. That's the best way you can help me grow my YouTube channel. And as always, I hope y'all have a great day and a blessed week. God bless.